Well, you know, I know, Stephen, that last month right. you really invited viewers in to really share a very personal part of your life. I introduced you to my granddaughter, Scarlett. She was born with a genetic disorder, a very serious one. It's called SMA. Since then, so many of you have been asking me about Scarlett, about SMA, that tonight at 11 o'clock I'm going to take you deeper into Scarlett's story. Scarlett was born with one of the most common childhood genetic diseases you've never heard of, SMA. SMA stands for spinal muscle atrophy. It is a neuromuscular disorder. Dr. Harold Finkel is a pediatric neurologist with the Michigan Institute of Neurological Disorders in Farmington Hills. SMA is a rather uh, common disorder. Uh, it uh, appears that approximately between 1 in 5,000 to 1 in 10,000 children will have SMA. It's estimated that the carriers are one in 50 individuals. That's, that's pretty prevalent for a, a condition that a lot of people have never heard about. Unfortunately, uh, the, the public does not be, seem to be quite aware of SMA as being that common. It's much more common than it seems the awareness is out there. Ben and Gretchen Dorer had never heard of SMA until Jace was diagnosed with it when he was just 16 months old. He's like any normal boy to us. Um, he just can't walk. He's got a lot of challenges ahead of him. Now Jace and Scarlett share a very uncertain future. Afflicted with a deadly disease for which there is no cure. When I say deadly, SMA is the number one genetic killer of children. But as I'm going to show you tonight, there is hope. A cure may be this close right here. And there is something you can do. And that's what we'll talk about tonight at 11 o'clock. What you can do to help out. You know, I will never forget a, a few years ago when we were together at a leadership training thing. Mm -hmm. You were just kind of getting word about this. Mm -hmm. And you were talking to me. They weren't quite sure what it was. What were you noticing early on in your daughter, in her, in that sweet little girl that just wasn't right? Well, so, so you know, seven or eight months. You remember when you had babies, they couldn't wait to move. They couldn't wait to crawl. They couldn't wait to try to stand up. Well, Scarlett never did any of that. Matter of mm -hmm. fact, she preferred not to. So you'd try to sit her up, she'd want to fall over and lie down. Mm. You'd try to get her to do that locked leg thing, yes. you know, they do that stiff leg. She right. never did it. She rolled one time. Wow. We got it on video, last, first, last time she ever rolled. Wow. At that time, we knew there were issues. The first doctors were saying, oh, it's lazy, baby, she'll do it on her own time. It's important to, to listen to the doctors, obviously, but also keep in mind, if you don't catch it early, she'll lose muscle until you do catch it, and then you've got to start the, you know, the rehabilitation. But we thank you for sharing right. it. I we'll know talk about it's not easy. We'll talk about it a lot of tonight. It's, uh, it's not easy, but it's important. You're making a big difference, certainly. Thank you, Stephen. And thank